the surprises of the spirit, I, 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 it just never ceased to amaze me as through the years that just when you think, you know, we're all going to just roll along as we always roll along, something happens and it, it bears all the hallmarks of the spirit who's the great comforter but also the great disruptor. One of those for me was the election of Pope Francis. I mean, I didn't see it coming. I was asked to, to help with the uh, media commentary at the time, of that conclave, and everyone was expecting it to be the Archbishop of Milan, uh, Cardinal Scola. And uh, I, I went through um, all the cardinals and I crossed their names off if I thought they weren't a realistic possibility. And I'd certainly crossed Bergoglio off because he was too old, he was a Jesuit, they won't elect a Jesuit, and so on. Anyway, I got the call at about three in the morning. The popes get elected in the wrong time of the day in Australia. I jumped out of bed thinking, God, that's quick. So it must be scholar. So I, I was preparing to do interviews uh, about Cardinal Scholar. And then the, the um, Cardinal Deacon came out onto the balcony of St. Peter's and announced that it was Bergoglio, the Argentinian Jesuit. I thought, my God, I know nothing about him. So I had to Google him furiously and pretend that I'd known him for years. So, uh, but his election and all that has followed from it has been, for me, one of the great surprises of the spirit and the whole call to what is called synodality, which is a difficult word in English, but I, I think has just been one of those surprises of the spirit. But, but there have been so many in, in, in little ways and in big ways. I mean, when I talk about the Pope and synodality, that's big picture. But the experience of the journey of the Plenary Council, which is related to all of this, has been another great experience of the spirit at work. So they're the kinds of things, but, but, but little things too. Again, the faith of the people. And, and when I say the people, I mean young people, old people, middle people, men, women, you see it time and time again. And one of the great privileges of the ordained ministry is the access it gives you to people's lives. And you see things that, that are extraordinarily inspiring and encouraging and sustaining and so on. So they're some of the things that, that give me joy. And, and if, there, if there isn't that joy, if it's just drudgery, why would you stay with it? And it hasn't been drudge. There have been drudge times of drudgery, of course. But no, my my experience of the journey has been that it is fascinating, full of surprises, never lacking a sense of adventure, and often enough, moments of joy. But through it all, a kind of a deep sub theme of peace, and that's the important thing. That's the sign of the Holy Spirit.